Hey guys, are you ready for some more of my little treasures? Because I have got my Deco box. <laughs> Normally Chips opens these with me and we have such a great time, but he is very very busy being a PhD student with only like 800 I'm not joking books to read in multiple languages for his comps right now So he's super busy and I thought I would go ahead and share my Nako box with you guys Which if you guys don't know this is not sponsored I just absolutely adore these boxes because they are full of beautiful Japanese housewares which sounds so boring right housewares what are you, Siri? 30? Yes, actually. But they're full of really cute dishes. Like, if you want really, really cute dishes or really adorable uh, rags, like, you guys have seen them all over my room. Rags sound so bad, too. Like, cloth, basically. Cloth. Here, now we're kind of elevating things. If you want elegant ceramic handmade dishes from Japan, some lovely cloths made from traditional patterns and even dye and styles, if you want those kinds of things, then that's what the Nico box is. And I have been getting it for the last year and a half now. And that is why my room and my dishes and all of my Instagram pictures that I have my little vegan cookies on are always so cute. <laughs> in my opinion. And it's so many little things like I can reach over and pull out my crane from a previous nickel box. We have got so many different pieces decorating my room. Honestly, it's been one of the most fun subscription boxes I've ever had because it's just so delightful to see what little treasures are hiding inside waiting for me every month and I have always really loved the results. You guys have seen them all over my Instagram. But anyway, enough rambling about that. Yeah, if you aren't familiar with the Nago Box, go check it out if you would like to. Not sponsored, just I really love it and I have been consistently surprised by how much delight it has brought into my life. So, on that note, and because Chips is busy, let's share this box together. This is the Autumn Cats theme. And I thought you guys would like this one. The theme is Autumn Cats and we have a lot of cat lovers amongst us and it has been the end of autumn. I just got to finish enjoying that wonderful trip to North Carolina and getting a chance to see all of the autumn leaves for a second time. So I'm really feeling all of those golden colors and those hues and just that beauty and I got to hang out with the wonderful family cats. So I'm really feeling this theme right now and I'm really hoping it will have something that will make me remember that beautiful Thanksgiving Day weekend that I just had with the family and make me remember the beautiful colors of gold and beautiful leaves that are no longer anywhere to be found in Michigan because I am staring at snow out my window right now. So hopefully we have something fun in here, but let's get started. Enough of my rambling as always. All right, so opening it up. <gasps> Look at that, already beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna put it right over here because it does have breakables in it, so I wanna be really careful. But here is our Autumn Cats spoilers card. So these are the hand-drawn cards that they do from their in-house artist that will tell you everything that we can expect to find inside, lots of details about it, more information for additional information about like Japanese culture. Usually there's recipes included as well, and the people who do the Nako box actually are vegan as well. So it's often vegan versions of Japanese cuisine that Chips and I actually like to look over and try to, uh, to do the recipes now and then. So let me just go ahead and clear away Gently, gently, oh, I'm so excited. Gently, gently clear away the paper so you guys can see what's in the box. I, I can't see what's in the box yet. <laughs> and now that you have seen this is how it's set up, I'm just gonna go ahead and take out each piece because the first piece is already catching my eye. Look at how beautiful that is. What do I have here? Hello, Japanese kimono style, good design. I love how there's just a little English sticker there, good design. Oh my gosh, is this just a nice little house rack? I think it is. Kimono style house rack, let me open it. Why do I keep saying rag? House cloth, ooh, it's even got like tissue paper in the center. Oh my gosh, it's soft, holy cow. This could be like for your face. This is so delicate and soft. Look at those pretty colors. This is totally my style. I am so happy right now. So let's see if I can find information about that without spoiling myself. The autumn flower cloth. 
These gorgeous soft gauze tingu uh, tinugi cloths come in one of two autumn flower patterns and make great tea towels, hand towels, wrapping cloths, and more. Made from Japanese gauze, which is thin and soft and dries quickly. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. This is very, very nice. I love this. I've always loved the cloths that come in the boxes because they're just a much higher quality than I can usually find popping into most stores around here. Definitely higher quality than you just find at like a department store. And they usually have uh, like artisan textures that somebody has really put a lot of thought and effort into the design or the style for. And it's just such a fun touch, right? If you're gonna have a whole bunch of uh, even just like kitchen cloths, why not make them something that is like a conversation starter and something that represents art and and careful artisan thought from another part of the world. Ugh, you can tell I was raised in a family of artists because those kinds of little details really get me. But all right, let me go ahead and we have one little dish. Oh, I think I know what this one is. I think it's shaped suspiciously. Very, very suspiciously. <gasps> it's green! Oh my heart! I am so happy! It, this is even better than if it was a orange leaf. Oh my gosh. I think this was in the spoilers for the pictures. But right here, we have the mini maple leaf dish. These mini maple leaf momiji dishes come in one of three different colors and are perfect for serving sauces, pickles, sweets, or other small side dishes. They also make great decorations. I'll say a green one. I know there were orange ones available and yellow ones, so the fact I got a green one it makes me ecstatic. I love the maple leaves in our backyard so this has a especially important significance for me oh this is this is fantastic I love green so I'm very happy already and we we're only two items in and then there's another one right here carefully wrapped as you can see to make sure that it's going to travel safely oh my gosh hang on come here little Nico there's a little kitty look at this oh he's so cute oh my gosh he's so cute Oh, I love him. I absolutely love him. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Sleeping cat dish. This charming sleeping cat dish comes in one of three different patterns featuring the loveliest napping cats. Use your cute blue dish for snacks, fruit, cake, or other small side dishes. It also makes a great accessory dish for your dresser. This is Minuyaki Porcelain made in Gifu Prefecture, which is one of their favorite places to go, the Gifu Prefecture, uh, for a whole bunch of the ceramics. This is adorable. It even has a little sleeping kitty on the maker's mark on the back. That is so nice. I'm already loving everything and we still have more items to pull out so next up we've got the biggest item which I'm pretty sure is going to be a bowl using the nickel box bowls uh, is something that chips and I have really come to love because now none of the dishes in our kitchen really match anymore and you would think that'd be kind of weird but it's so like artsy eclectic and fun just to be able to see what's going to appear and be able to pick out different styles of dishes. We never have the two same dishes when we sit down for dinner, but the ones that we pick that night usually represent something about like how we felt, like picking out the wave blue dish or picking out the bamboo dish. So I like it. I like that kind of eclectic style of living. <gasps> it's a matching bowl for my, where is my? <laughs> Somewhere downstairs in the in the um, the kitchen actually is a dish that looks like this that you guys will have seen before if you've seen pictures of my cookies on Instagram. But it is the plate version of this bowl, and now I have a bowl version to go with it. Oh my gosh, Chips is going to love this. He's gonna fight me for this dish when we eat our dinner because this is way too cute. Look at the little paw prints down the side. Oh, I'm feeling the kitty love right now. Oh, I wish we could get a cat. Oh. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, and this beautiful beautiful dish is the happy cat bowl And this indeed looks like some very happy kitties right here These large happy cat bowls come in blue or pink. I really like that I got the blue one all the colors so far have been what I wanted Come in blue or pink and feature cheeky smiling kittens used for breakfast dessert or savory dishes like soups noodles or rice Miniyaki porcelain made in Gifu prefecture. Like I said, that's one of the favorite places that they tend to get it And I have I've always loved all the porcelain we've ever gotten from them. It's just so pretty. Oh I can't wait to see the last pieces. Okay 
So we have this little container, which I have learned over the many months of getting Nico Box it means that hiding inside is going to be a cute figurine, which I'm very excited about because this is Autumn Cat's theme. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a cat. <laughs> if it's not, if it's like a giant acorn, I can live. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a little kitty hiding right inside, carefully packed up so we're not going to have it damaged as it gets across the sea. There we go, look at you, another little lucky cat. Hi, I actually have a, a lucky puppy who's pretty much in this style and I have a drama and I have my crane. So this is really fun. I have my very own little lucky cat. Hopefully he'll bring us lots of luck over the coming year. Look at this guy. What do you what do we have to say about you? The Mananeko uh Maniki uh, uh, Maniki Neko ornament. These cheeky Maniki Neko ornaments feature a smiling beckoning cat holding a lucky gourd with the kanji character Fortune. These sweet lucky cats are designed to bring good luck and fortune into your life. So to play display him somewhere lucky in your home. Hand painted by ceramic artisans in Seto City, a Seto City which has a 1300 year pottery history. So 1300 years of pottery history. And all that time later, I have picked up a adorable little ceramic cat from Seto City in Japan. I, that's why I love the Nikko box. It just kind of brings everything all together like that. Oh, that's charming. I love everything we've gotten. And Hiding at the bottom, as always, is a print. And this is a postcard print this month. And I really love it. Let me take it out of its little packet. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it as usual. I'm very excited. I cannot wait for Chips to get home because he is going to love this little bowl. This is going to make him so happy. I swear he's going to use it every morning for cereal. I can just predict that right now. The cloth, super soft, super adorable. It has those blue and red tones that often are really great for autumn. Listen to me, blue and red tones. Family of artists, what can I say? And it's just so gentle. I love that. I really, really don't like scratchy, scritchy dishcloths. And these ones are always just the softest things in the world. Perfect for using on my porcelain, probably. And I love that I've got a little kitty figurine to go with my puppy figurine and some of the others. Let me see if I can, come here little guy. Yes, yeah, look at my puppy figurine from the year of the dog. You can see right here that now has a cat to match with him. And I've got the crane that I showed you guys earlier. So this is going to be a kitty in good company for sure. And I'm so happy out of all of the colors that I could have gotten for the maple leaf dish, I got green. That is going to be a permanent addition to my desk collection for sure. Chips and I are probably going to have to fight over who gets to use this for our cookie plate because you could put the little cookie so the little kitten is holding onto the cookie. That would be so ridiculously cute. I'm just happy with everything once again because I have all these little treasures from the other side of the world that have been picked out and put in a box and sent to me and to me that's one of the, the best things that I could get from a subscription box is that kind of feeling of going on an adventure and being able to expand my knowledge about the world, being able to expand my appreciation for the art and for the different styles and designs that come from the other side of the planet and a whole different culture. That's really fun. I kind of wish I knew of more subscription boxes that were like, uh, useful art because if you notice I really love having dishes because you can use them too and you know all of those wonderful wonderful soft cloths I can use those as well I wish that there were more subscription boxes that I knew of that would be able to send things like that from other places in the world because it'd be so interesting to be able to compare different art styles and compare different themes and see how people build them but i love my nickel box i've had it for months <laughs> i just like showing you guys what treasures can appear from the other side of the world for some of you that's probably you know you're like i live in japan siri but it's just nice. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm going to get these all tidied up and maybe go bake some fresh vegan cookies to put on the plates and surprise chips for when he gets home. So see you next time, guys. Bye.